Well, hello everyone. It's Catfish Tyler, and uh, it's the end of the day here, the end of the weekend of Friday, uh, October the 11th, 2024. SoFi is the stock I'm talking about, and uh, I'm going to throw some, just some data your way. <clears throat> and uh, I cannot take credit for this. I want to make sure I give credit where credit is due. So I'm going to pull this display capture up here right underneath me, and I'm going to show you one of the best articles I've seen written about SoFi in some time. And again, I'm Catfish Tyler. I want to thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like before we get going here and uh, get this shared with as many people as possible. I believe this is important information. And uh, therefore, that's why I decided to make this video. And I um, want to thank you all for being here. I am Catfish Tyler. <clears throat> Cheers and welcome to the tank, all right? And I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So let's move this out of the way right here, right now. And what I want to show you is this information right here. So I'm going to come down here and pull up the display capture to the top here. And boom, now we have, hopefully, this screen here will pop up. <clears throat> and I'm going to be reading to you an article that was just placed uh, from tip ranks here, it says tip ranks, five reasons to be bullish on SoFi technologies. And I'm going to read this to you now, because I think this could influence quite a few buyers over the weekend for maybe next week. So here you go. Five reasons to be bullish on SoFi technologies. Uh, the author is unknown. I don't see a name, but I'm going to read it to you. SoFi technologies has positioned itself as one of the most exciting fintech companies offering a wide range of services and products that many traditional banks struggle to match. While the stock has declined by about 10% this year, I believe this decline is largely due to investors' short-term preoccupation with challenges, particularly the high interest rate environment that is now beginning to change. In this article, article I will outline five key reasons that support my bullish view of SoFi stock, especially at current levels. So here's the first thing I want you to see. When you look at this thing here, folks, you can see where the chart is right now. Folks, there's a lot of air here, a lot of empty space here. And I've been showing you this on my chart. When we get back over here to March of last year, folks, there's a lot of empty space. Now, I wish this chart was even further, a two-year chart. But over the year, you can see, folks, we're approaching an area where we've almost never been before. We've eclipsed this point over here, and there's a lot of space from here to here. As you can clearly see, there's been several runs there. So a lot of gapping here, a gap from there to there too. So some big gaps coming our way in the future as things unfold. But let's just go ahead and keep reading. Strong revenue growth and diversification. The first tenet of my SoFi investment thesis is that it's impressive top line growth. In its most recent quarter two results reported on July 30th, SoFi delivered a strong 22% year over year increase in adjusted net revenue, reaching a record 597 million. Furthermore, its financial services and technology platform review grew by 46% year over year and now comprises 45% of the total adjusted net revenue of the company, up from just 38% a year ago. So a 7% increase in the technology platform in one year, very nice. The, this diversi diversification away from lending and toward financial services and technology platforms boosts SoFi's growth potential and reduces its reliance on a single revenue stream, making the company more resilient. Additionally, SoFi has carved out a niche in financial services by targeting a high-income young demographic, often undeserved by traditional banks, Unser underserved, not undeserved, yeah, both, but un underserved by traditional banks. While most large banks offer limited specialized services, SoFi provides a comprehensive range of offerings from student loans to estate planning, allowing it to cater to the specific needs of this demographic. SoFi's improving profitability. In addition to strong top-line growth, SoFi has been making significant strides in profitability. The fintech has posted three consecutive quarters of profitable profitability, 
with 17 million of gap net income for the fur for the um three months ending in June 2024 compared to a 40 million loss the year prior. So I'll read that again. This has a 17 million of gap net income for the three months ending in June 24th compared to a 40 million loss the year prior. This means improvement drives investor confidence and demonstrates that SoFi's business model is sustainable and capable of scaling profitability over time. Moreover, SoFi's focus on product development along with its commitment to operate, operate uh, operational efficiency is poised I said it three times, operational efficiency is poised now for to drive long-term growth and profitability. Wall Street shares this optimism, projecting robust earnings growth over the next three years from 0.11 EPS for 2024 to 0.64 of EPS in 2027. <laughs> Oh my goodness, folks, six times the growth. This this underscores the company's strong future prospects. Valuation is in line with future growth prospects. The company's current valuation is also attractive relative to growth expectations. Currently, SoFi trades at a seemingly stretched forward P.E. ratio of 78x. However, if SoFi does reach EPS of 064 by 2027, that multiple drops to 13.4. Okay, okay, that's very attractive. That valuation is much closer to those of traditional banks, which typically trade at earnings multiples between 11 and 13x. All right, I mean 13 times. That said, since SoFi's business is far from mature and earnings are just getting started, the current P.E. ratio premium makes sense. Member growth and digital first strategy. My fourth bullish point is in regards SoFi's, and this is the last point, I believe, because this is four, I think. My fourth bullish point in regards of SoFi's rapid growth of its members base in the second quarter of 2024, the company added 643,000 new members, representing a 41% year-over-year increase, bringing the total to 8.77 million members. Oh, yeah. SoFi's digital first approach also eliminates the need for brick-and-mortar locations and helps reduce costs while meeting consumer demand for convenient, tech-driven financial services. This strategy position SoFi well to capitalize on the continued shift towards online banking and fintech innovation. Resilient lending business with prudent risk management. The fifth and final underlying my bullish view of SoFi is potential macroeconomic relief. Management has been concerned over the past few years that higher interest rates could damage economic activity dampen economic activity, leading to job losses and missed loan payments. Consequently, management aimed to reduce lending initially, forecasting a decline in revenue of at least 5% for 2024. However, as the Fed cut interest rates by half a percentage point a few weeks ago, management's outlook will likely improve SoFi may have weathered the worst of the rising interest rate cycle. Lower interest rates typically improve economic activity in reducing the risk of loan losses. Despite diversification efforts, SoFi's balance sheet remains heavily concentrated in lending with a loan-to-asset ratio of approximately 77.4% manage, uh, percent. management's caution was justified as an increase in defaults could seriously threaten uh, results. Notably, the 90-day personal loan delinquency rate fell to 64 basis points in the most recent quarter, down from 72 points in quarter one, indicating a potential peak in delinquencies. All right. So, is SoFi a buy? According to Wall Street analysts, despite the bullish arguments, you have 14 animal a analysts on this. And folks, most of them are saying average stock price target is 827. They're all low, folks. They are missing the boat on this thing. And they're going to be, after SoFi hits 10, they're going to be coming out with downgrades, I promise you. Because they always do. All of them will come out with a downgrade when it goes over $10 because they want to get in lower again. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion in this summary is despite short-term challenges and cautious analyst sentiment, SoFi's strong revenue growth, improving profitability, and strategic diversification make a compelling case for growth at a reasonable valuation for long-term investors. With a rapidly expanding member base and a digital first strategy, I believe the company is well positioned to thrive in the evolving fintech landscape. This warrants a bullish sentiment for SoFi stock at current prices. And folks, you've got a lot of headlines. SoFi is going to be here soon. Football season playoffs coming down. SoFi Stadium, NBA, official uh, bank of the NBA. TGL Golf is about to start right now, too. TGL Golf. Oh, my gosh, folks. This thing, this SoFi stock could be phenomenal, folks. Now I'm going to bring this back down here, down below, and I'm going to put my picture back up. And that's all I wanted to show for you today here, folks, is that I think everything written in that article is spot on. And my suggestion to you would be, and I am not a financial advisor, but folks, I've been around the block a few times. And right now, I think SoFi is poised to make a move like we've never seen before to the upside. I believe there are a lot of gaps from here where we're priced now, and I think it could rapidly rise and surprise a lot of people. So I'm asking you, don't miss out on this. Pick you up a few shares of SoFi right now, folks, even if it's just 50. I don't care. Just get you some, okay? And that's it. Catfish Tyler wanted to make sure you all knew that this is all the reasons I'm so strongly behind this stock right now. And I, I am uh, going to be here broadcasting Monday through Friday from 9.15 until 4, 4.30, 5, 6, or even later. You know how we do it sometimes, trading in the after hours. Hope you all have a great one. And please consider hitting the like button. If you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell too, because when a stock's on the run, man, I pop on with a live feed saying, man, check this out right now. It's going crazy. So folks, thank you again for your time. I hope you'll consider sharing this with others too. And I hope that you uh, confer with this information. Love to hear what you think. So leave your comments down below I'd look, and I'd be happy to respond. And again, I hope you all have a good one and keep your eye on this stock so far, folks. Even if you don't get in now, just watch it. Okay, write down where it is here. And uh, folks, it was just at $6 two months ago on August the 5th, $6 a share. The thing's going to go past 10, hopefully, for all of us. All right. So want to make sure you knew all those fine points. I'm out of here. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you on Monday, 915 a.m. Eastern time here. Same cat time, same cat channel. Bye bye, everyone.